Uh, g'day all. Um, just thought I'd show you my Skya JY500 because um, this heli's almost ready to fly. Uh, the only thing I'm waiting on now is a motor that's coming from Hong Kong and um, uh, once that arrives I'll be able to install that pretty easily because uh, um, you know it's, it's fairly easy access on the front of this heli even after all the servos and things are in. Anyway so this is the this is the heli as it is now in its current condition almost almost ready to fly. I've done all the setup all the blades and everything are already set the pitches set the fly bars in properly. Um, just to show you the canopy I've put some stickers on from uh, from Hobby King uh, they sent me some stickers over and I put them on the canopy just to give it a little bit more life got the Turnergy power system sticker on there <coughs> got Hobby King's own sticker on there they should be subsidising the cost of this heli I reckon for putting the ads on there for them um, so I'm going to be running a Turnergy Typhoon uh, motor that I got that I'm getting from Hong Kong as I said before and it's um, it's a 500 size heli, heli motor obviously um, along with that I've got a Hobbywing 80 amp ESC it's probably a little bit more ampage than it's required I think 65 is the norm for a 500 size heli I believe but I thought I'll just be safe and get the 80, uh, 80 amp. Um, so that's that, and I'm using a uh, I'm using the high tech 82 mg servos, which I've got installed and um, mostly wired up through the inside of the frame already. <coughs> Still got a little bit of wiring to do because um, I haven't finished putting the the uh, uh, the RX in or the ESC on because it's all going to be that that's going to be determined by the motor when that arrives, how long the motor wires are, etc., will determine where the where the ESC goes. <coughs> so, so using the 82 mg cyclic servos on there, which are pretty good, they were buzzing a little bit to begin with, but that I found to be uh, because I was using a different servo horn on the servos, and the servo horn that I was using was a little bit thicker than um, the uh, the standard one that comes with the servo. And when I screwed the servo horns on tight, um, the servo horn was actually binding against the servo case. So uh, discovered that, fixed it just by grinding a little bit off the the um, the shaft hole on the on the servo horn, and that seemed to fix that problem anyway. So with the gyro I'm using for now, this is a temporary thing. I'm using um, the Ace TG6000 gyro. <coughs> Excuse me. The reason I'm using that is because um, I've actually got a Spartan Quark and I want to put that on here but the Spartan Quark requires a digital tail servo and I don't have a digital tail servo on hand at the moment um, I've got one on order from Hobby King um, but until that arrives I've got this cheap ass thing I got from eBay it was a spare I had in the tray and this cost me about $7.50 I reckon uh, very cheap servo and they seem to be pretty good I've got another one of these running on a on another heli of mine and it's given me no trouble it's been pretty good pretty fast so for now that'll be the tail servo for now that'll be the gyro but it'll be a spartan quark gyro on there once i get the digital tail servo from hong kong so just waiting on that um just using the simple spectrum ar6100e receiver um been a pretty good receiver i've got about five of these on different helis only one I've had a problem with where the antennas actually fell off and um, I thought well it'd probably be okay and I put it in my Hong Kong my sorry my HK450 GT and uh, flew it around a bit and the heli just lost power when it was about 30 or 40 feet away and nosedived into the earth so <coughs> I've actually put it down to the RX just losing connection so those little antenna wires are pretty important, obviously. So uh, hopefully they'll hang on. Um, so yeah, so that's it. So it's it's pretty much all set up. Everything's tight, tight, and everything's locked tighted. Um, it's all set. The servos are centered. Um, I've fixed. I've set the blade pitch. Um, the, the paddles are all set correctly. The tail setup is all correct as per this tail servo and this gyro. Anyway, I might have to reset it once I put the other gyro and tail server on but it's all set all ready to fly all i need to do is put the motor in so when the motor arrives the good thing about this heli is that uh, i've been able to set it up all the way 
uh, even without the motor. And I know that with some helis, you've got to put the motor in first because of restricted access. But with this, with this heli, you can see I've actually got the servos in there already, and there's still plenty of um, access down to that motor plate. You can just see it in there through that cavity. And um, if I need more room for fingers, I can just take the, the battery plate off the front, which is very simple. 30 second job maybe, a minute. Um, put the motor in, I can mesh it against the main gear there very, very easily. It's full access, easy access here, so it won't take me long to do, do that. And once I've done that, I'll just determine where the ESC is going to go, um, depending on the length of the motor wires and whatnot. But I'll probably have the ESC somewhere up here, like that. And um, those little motor wires can go around through the front nose and into the motor and the uh, battery leads will somehow fold up like that. And Bob's your uncle. Should be ready to fly. So I'll videotape the maiden flight anyway and see how it goes. So fingers crossed this thing will fly beautifully just like the Trex. Thanks guys.